So Sega has officially revealed Sonic Rumble, an upcoming mobile game that supports up to 32 players in a battle royale party game. At a glance, it seems pretty similar to Fall Guys, where players race to the end of platforming levels, survive a dangerous gauntlet of obstacles, and more. But just how much do we actually know about this game? Let's go over everything we know about it so far. First off, this mobile game is actually the first game Sega has developed with Rovio, the studio behind Angry Birds. Anyway, as for the actual game, let's start with the characters. There are a lot of playable characters here, which isn't too surprising for a Sonic mobile game, but is good to see the tradition is kept up here. We see Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Dr. Eggman, Silver, Blaze, Metal Sonic, Big the Cat, Zavok, Rouge, and Jet, all on the key art. But we see even more in the gameplay videos and screenshots. Cream, Vector, Espio, Charmy, and various other characters reminiscent of the customizable player avatar from Sonic Forces. The trailer says you can customize your characters with rings, so you'll likely be able to make these custom characters to use in gameplay, or play as specific Sonic characters. Of course, there were also alternate costumes. We see pirate costumes for Sonic and Shadow, which have been used in other mobile games. The official Discord server for the game also has emotes for some characters that seem to hint at other character alts, including a leather jacket and sunglasses for Vector, a detective outfit for Tails, similar to his appearance in The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, and the soap shoes for Sonic. Going off of the other Sonic mobile games, there's probably going to be a lot of alternate costumes for characters in this game, and these are just the smallest of looks at them. Next up, let's take a look at the levels. Of course, we know collecting rings through each level is important, but what else is hiding in these levels? Well, we first see a Green Hill Zone themed level that seems to be a straight shot race to the finish, with various obstacles along the way, like fan-shaped platforms and spinning bars to jump over. Okay, yeah, a lot like Fall Guys. We also see rotating platforms with walls, and a section where Sonic and friends can run up a 90 degree wall ahead of them. The next clip seems to take place in Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes, with Sonic and Metal Sonic taking out some badniks and collecting rings. There are three question mark doors ahead of Sonic. Maybe these are like the doors in Fall Guys, where only one actually opens and the others act as walls. We can also see a large egg pawn up ahead wielding a weapon to swing. Past it, we see Eggman balloons which the player may be able to homing attack to move forward. This does beg the question though. Surely every character plays the same, right? Like, every character will be able to homing attack enemies, right? If not, that wouldn't exactly be fair in a game like this. Moving on, the next clip seems to be in Chemical Plant Zone, with Sonic and friends running on conveyor platforms, dodging ninja-themed egg pawns swinging swords. Next up, we see Sonic and friends defeating a badnik in what seems to be Green Hill Zone again, based on the flower back here. In another gameplay clip, we see Blaze getting pushed around by some bumper walls, much like in Fall Guys. Next, we see what seems to be a survival minigame against a Death Egg robot. Presumably, if you get knocked off the level, you lose. But maybe getting hit after losing your rings will also eliminate you. The next clip is pretty interesting, giving us a look at a side-scrolling level, with a massive chopper on the left side of the screen as the primary hazard. But there were still other badniks to avoid while platforming in what's likely a mix of a race to the finish and a survival round. Sort of like Slime Climb in Fall Guys. The next clip is pretty quick, but seems to be set in space as the platform is formed ahead of Sonic. We can't really tell much about what this level is going to be, but it's seemingly another race. Otherwise, we see Sonic and Shadow using boost pads, Sonic running through the iconic loop-de-loop, -loop, and Sonic grinding on a rail in space. We do get a look at one other zone in a screenshot though, it seems to be in some kind of desert, judging by what looks to be a cactus on the left. Otherwise, there looks to be spinning obstacles and large spike balls as well. It's clear that there's going to be quite a few zones, as well as different types of rounds to play through. There's one last bit we want to talk about here though, and that's the fact that we've known about this game for quite a few months now. A leaked early trailer for this game made its rounds across the internet some time ago, under the name Sonic Toys Party. It definitely seemed like an earlier version of Sonic Rumble, and because of that, it's hard to say how much of it reflects the final content here at all. While it did offer a look at some other costumes for Sonic and some other rounds, those may not make it into the final game. So ultimately, we're choosing not to include information from the early leak on this game. Overall, yes, the gameplay looks pretty similar to Fall Guys, but I'm sure the different nuances, including the ring system, 
will help it feel fresh and interesting. And while the game doesn't come out until this winter, we'll be learning more about it very soon, because the closed beta test for the game is taking place from May 24th to 26th, just a few weeks away. During this time, we're likely to learn a lot more about the ins and outs of the game. And personally, I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm hoping I get in. You can sign up for the closed beta on the game's official website, which we'll link in the description. With that, that's everything we could find on Sonic Rumble. But what do you guys think? Spot something we missed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to Game is Playing for plenty more on Sonic and other things gaming as well, of course. Until next time, farewell.